Hey there, SolarLone here, and here is after a long uh, break. Well, not really a long break, but a pretty, pretty long break. Here's another Gearend devlog video. Not a music devlog video, but an actual devlog video. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. So yeah, it's been a while. I've been working on Gearend uh, pretty what regularly uh, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, recently, I improved or I'm working on uh, BDX to try to improve the text uh, elements so that it's, you can kind of uh, clean it up and, and uh, add like shadows and outlines and stuff like that so that kind of stuff should be pretty useful so hopefully uh, we'll see that coming in soon um, as for what I'm going to show here I'm going to show um, a website that I'm working on for for basically my, basically my new um, my new website my new homepage uh, solarloon.com so this is the old version of the website um, it's pretty plain it works pretty well but it's kind of uh, it, it doesn't really it's, it's, it's not formatted very well um, this is an old kind of well not kind of this is a very old uh, subset of gear and posts uh, images and stuff like that so I wanted to just kind of update it so that's what I'm going to do, or that's what I'm doing. And the interesting thing is that basically because I'm using Linux now, um, there's not really too many website creation tools out there that are compatible with Linux. So what I ended up doing was basically just saying, you know what, I'm just going to start learning HTML and CSS to write the website myself. And so I got Atom, which is a text editor, and uh, across the platform, open source, you can load in packages to give you uh, different kind of little add-ons and stuff like that is useful and yeah you have kind of a, a, a you know you can make your own kind of IDE in, of sorts um, so this is the website I'm just I, I, I found this pretty interesting I wanted to kind of uh, show people it's not that hard it's not that hard to do it's pretty in uh, interesting and easy to do one of the packages I got is a uh, HTML live reloading thing where you can press Control Shift H and it'll go ahead and give you a preview of the website as it should show up in uh, the w uh, on a, in a web browser. So this is I don't know why I went with kind of a bar uh, <laughs> premise, but that's kind of the idea. It's kind of like an adventure game. Uh, you enter the bar, being early morning on a weekday, it's empty, save for a single man standing behind the countertop. He's a man of African-American descent in his mid-twenties and wears the vest and tiny bow tie combo classic bartenders always seem to wear. He, uh, well, this is a good example, always seem to wear in, uh, what, in like old TV shows and old movies and TV shows. Always seem to wear on TV. We'll just say it like that on TV. Uh, he looks at you with a kind smile. He said, uh, "Speaks to you. Welcome. You must be tired. Let me get you something refreshing. You like video games? And yes or no? So that's just kind of a stupid little thing that gives you an idea of um, kind of what I'm about. In that, I, I don't even really drink alcohol, but I, <laughs> like that's kind of the the feel is like kind of a cool, um, smooth. I don't. I'm not trying to like be like I'm cool and smooth I'm just saying it's kind of like a laid-back approach and so I wanted something a little different that's uh, kind of gives you the idea yeah it's about video games but it's kind of uh, a different approach than the usual websites I don't know if this is gonna work at all cuz I mean if I want to like direct people to gear then I probably want to make that a little more obvious like gear you know point to gear or I'm an indie developer my current project is gear like I might want to say that out uh, right out right so that people don't get um like kind of uh, weirded out or like where they don't understand what this is about and leave the site so I have to think about it from a kind of businessman's perspective where it's like it's straightforward you know get the get the person to the product and then if they like it then they'll uh, go on from there so anyway I wanted to kind of show uh, a little bit of the process and I mean when you look at HTML on like a well I, when I whenever I looked at HTML I always thought that it was a super complex kind of difficult language to learn it's really just a, a rather simple programming language and a lot of the content is text is the stuff that you you're entering to kind of um, change things this is a little comment that I said uh, it might be cool to change the text depending on when you visit the site so for example instead of being early morning uh, on a weekday it could be you know past midnight for example on, on, a, on a Tuesday uh, or, or um, being, you know, 
uh, early morning on a on a Sunday, something to that effect. So it kind of changes. It wouldn't always make sense that it's empty if it's you know late evening on a weekend. Then it, a bar would be packed. But I just thought that would be kind of cool to sneak in there, uh, excuse to kind of learn a little bit of JavaScript and some stuff to to get that working. But anyway, um, yeah. So the general idea is that basically there's different tags in HTML. And you can put stuff in between the tags that influences what uh, or how that stuff gets shown. So, for example, this this uh, this green text is uh, kind of defined here, and I set um, I use a span tag to basically kind of have text set in line, uh, as opposed to having a, a full paragraph devoted to it. Because if I don't have that. If I don't have that span uh, tag, uh, why did I? Oh, no! Wait, why did I? Huh? Okay, I guess that was just left over from before. But yeah, I, I have the span tag to uh, basically kind of fit and and change how it looks, how the text displays. So for example, here the span is necessary uh, to kind of make this spacing correct uh, between the dot, this uh, little cursor icon GIF, and yes, and uh, have to have enough space between yes and no. Because otherwise, if you just use a paragraph tag, it won't really show up correctly. So that's, you know, it, it, it works pretty well. So yeah, that's the kind of the, the stuff um, I'm talking about is that it's, it's not too difficult to pick up. It's pretty straightforward and it's very easy to, to edit it like this especially and just kind of get it to be exactly what you uh, want it to be, how you want it to look. And you know, it's pretty straightforward. Cool. Um, over here, we have the gear end. Um, page which is a I believe a step up uh, much much more cool and uh, focused uh, this is a uh, basically the tile screen but just kind of different colors and I have it set up to run uh, show at the bottom left corner of the screen uh, in the background and you can see that here the body class is basically where your HTML goes for the body of the image of the document but I set the class to be gearend which means it's a specific class of body, so you have body, which is for the normal stuff. Then you have body.gearin, which is a slightly different version of that with the background image. So it's pretty much a. Uh, I mean, you, you can see the the is very similar to a lot of coding languages. The whole, especially class, you know, classes where it's like, oh, this is this, but it's a specific kind of this or that. And so we have a, a gify cat uh, stream. Right in the center, which is, I think, a really good idea because it's a GIF, it streams, it's animated, it draws the eye, you can click on it, it gets bigger, and uh, you can embed it if you want to share it somewhere else. It's very nice. I think that works pretty well. Uh, this is a little write-up that just explains a little bit in in um, distillation what exactly the point of the game is. It's a non-linear exploration game. I, I don't know if I can say Metroid-like on my page here. <laughs> I'm not sure how well that will go down. Uh, but yeah, you control a small robot. He explores an abandoned uh, robotics research facility. He's been awoken, or rather, activated. Not awoken. Uh, he's been having been activated by unknown forces. He sets out to find out who has awakened him uh, and determine just what exactly has happened to the facility and its inhabitants. Find and equip different parts to help you fight, move, explore, and help others in this sprawling remains of a hub of knowledge. I don't really like that last part in the sprawling remains of a hub of knowledge. I kind of want something else that gives you the idea of this is a place of learning. This is a place of, um, you know, uh, uh, what's the word? Pushing the envelope technology where it's like, you know, you have scientists and, and professors, you know, studying and, and experimenting and all this stuff to get the latest and greatest in artificial intelligence. So I have to kind of figure out exactly how, how I want to portray that in this kind of few words to really get it punchy and stuff. Uh, plan to be finished in August 2016, that's what I'm hoping for, and it'll be available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Okay. And so yeah, this is basically the way it all goes. And over here we have uh, different links, just images, 
uh, links that you can click that go to different places, email, Twitter, devlog, SoundCloud, uh, YouTube, and Patreon. So that's all really good. All right, well, that is basically uh, what I've been working on. Uh, I've been working on other stuff too, but that's all I'm gonna show today, the next, or right now. The next devlog, I'll show the actual um, game, because I've done a lot of stuff in the water zone. I'm working on a boss right now, because I'm trying to get this in green light, basically, in the next couple of days. Hopefully I can get it in green light, and then have it pass really quickly, and while it's passing, hopefully I can get it finished, and have it finished by the end of the month, and uh, that would be really awesome. I think even if it doesn't sell well, just being able to be done with it would be awesome. So that's what I'm aiming for, is just to finish more so than even to uh, like really sell that many. If I could just get it done, that would probably be <laughs> a really nice thing. Uh, okay, so uh, that's about it. Uh, as for news, I've changed my Patreon around. I haven't been talking about it very much. Um, I kind of have been not really doing too much with Patreon because I've been working on my game, but uh, people were still interested in supporting me while I worked on it. Uh, While well, I worked on Gearin, so I went ahead and changed the Patreon, uh, my Patreon page around, so it's just a monthly donation rather than it being based on what exactly I'm making. Because sometimes it's like, well, you know, I don't really feel like charging people for something I made that's not really patron specific. Um, sometimes I feel like, well, if it wasn't a full song or it wasn't a full drawing or whatever, it was, it was a, just a small sprite. I don't really feel like charging people for that. Well, now it's just, it's a monthly thing. If people don't want to pay it, obviously they can just unsubscribe or un-Patreon themselves. And if people do that, they can do that too. Um, people who Patreon or who signed up are going to hopefully get a free copy of Gearin once I finish it. Uh, well, hopefully when I finish it. Hopefully I'll finish it. And if I do, then they'll uh, get a free copy of Gearin. Um, yeah, so that's, that's interesting. Uh, that's one of the rewards for... For if you sign up on Patreon, which is cool. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, so that's that's all going pretty well. Uh, I can't think of anything else I want to share right now, so I guess that's where I'll cu cut it. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar Loon, and this has been a Gearend uh, devlog video. Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.